anyhow, I'm not going to get upset that I keep getting cut off. Like I said, it's her storage space, and it's kind of my own fault. Besides, Pokemon Go takes up room. Um, but you know, as I was stating, um, it, it is really, honestly, important to count your blessings. I don't give a shit what you're going through. Because the next guy may have it a hell of a lot worse off than you do. And I'm learning that, you know, God's creatures are some of the most connected to source that you're ever going to get. The, you know, so if you're like yelling at them, uh, being cruel to animals, they're the most godlike creatures you're ever going to you know, they're the most in alignment with sores. So, if you're being cruel to an animal, you're... You know, animals are truly great indicators um, as to human nature and good, bad, and ugly of people. Because animals are the most unconditionally loving and forgiving no matter how much wrong no matter how much cruelty a human implements upon them they still would lick away your t tears they would still forgive you um pardon me that kind of really tears me up because you now I've been hurt a lot in life but animals animals is the one thing I trust and if an animal tells me somebody's no good I know that means they're no good Without a doubt, animals are true indicators of what's good and righteous in a person. All bullshit aside, they're the closest to God source you will ever get. Look at their unconditional love. Need I say more? Look at their forgiving nature. Look at their innocence. Um, but anyway, enough said. My baby girl came up to me as a stray two years ago, like I was saying. And, um, yeah, she's a pity. A lot of breed discrimination out there, too. But do you know it's humans that make dogs bad? It's not the breed. It's not the breed. And I can tell you that because I own one. Does she... Attack? Does she defend? Yes. Because she loves her mother. And I am blessed that she loves me, that she chose me to wander up to. I am truly blessed. When she lays her paws upon me, and across my chest, I feel so guarded and protected, and I would never trust another human being that way, like I trust her. Her and I have such an implemented, integrated bond that no human could ever break. When I cry tears, she licks them. When I need love, she loves me. When I need protected, she protects me. I had a nightmare about a year ago. And I haven't told anybody aside from my ex. It was scary for me because nothing was weighing on my subconscious mind, my dream state, for it to concern me. But I had nightmares that she was shot and laying in my front yard dying. So to this day, I'm scared of my own dream, hoping it does not hold any sort of truth. 
because it was a complete nightmare. And I don't know what I'd do without her. I don't know what I'd do without any of my dogs. But especially her. So anyway, I just thought I'd put that out there because I know many of you guys love your animals too. And I love this girl without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, tell me these pities are bad. Tell me these pities are